Hey, what's up everyone? Thank you for tuning in. This is Pasha808 here for 132 Hertz YouTube channel. I'm going to show you how to convert your music to 432 Hertz in Logic 10. I have another video how to do it in Logic 8 and Logic 10 is similar, but there's a few tweaks that you might not know about. So first of all, if you want to convert to 432 uh, your software instruments like MIDI keyboards and stuff like that, you're going to go to file and then project settings and then you're gonna go to tuning I'm gonna click tuning and then in this bar right here it's gonna say zero but you want it to say minus 32 or minus 31.9 so mathematically minus 32 gives you 432 Hertz but for some reason in logic it shows it as a, a smaller fraction. I'm not sure why it does that. But if you wanted to say 432 hertz here, you need to put it minus 31.9 in the tuning here. Okay. So, and then, so th this will set your uh, software instruments and stuff like that. But if you're dealing with a file that's a music file already, like MP3, wave file etc uh, you will need to do the following first of all you need to enable your advanced settings and to do that you're going to go in this logic pro 10 menu you're going to go to preferences and you're going to click general over here you're going to click advanced and you have to have these check marks enabled in order for the other options to come through. So show advanced tools, have it enabled. I have this audio uh, check mark enabled, control surfaces enabled just in case, and advanced editing enabled just in case. Okay, after that, you're going to select your file and double click it. So in this case, I have this uh, music file right here. It's already pre-recorded. And I double clicked it and that's gonna bring up this uh, menu down here. You're gonna go to functions. Here, you're gonna scroll all the way down to time and pitch machine. It took me a while to find this because in Logic 8, it's so much easier. Anyway, so this is where you wanna be. And then here, I usually set it as free and universal presets. Uh, and then tempo, we're not messing with the tempo, okay? So your tempo is gonna stay the, the same. So this should be zero. We're not changing any of this. It's only showing you how long your sample is. In my case, it's two minutes, 57 seconds long. What you wanna change here is the pitch down below. You wanna put it to minus 32 cents which will give you a minus eight hertz difference from 440 to 432 hertz. And then you're going to process and paste and be patient. If it's a long sample, it might take a while until it's done. Always double check your work. Uh, so in my case, I already did convert it right here. You can listen to it. So this is 432 and um, this is the video of 440. Okay, again, 440. And 432. 432 again. Okay, and you're all set. Thank you for checking it out and until next time signing out here at Pasha808. Tune in for more important updates on 432 Hz frequency. Peace.